Hey, how's it going, guys? My name is SlipDeer20, and welcome back to Minecraft on a Hardcore Survivor World, where today we're going to be exploring our beautiful world here. We haven't really done too much exploration, so I want to see what the world has to offer us, you know? See new biomes, new creatures, all that fun stuff. Now, before we do actually go out exploring, I do want to go out and get some squid ink, because I want to make myself a little book and quill, so that way we can keep track of, like, hey, we have this structure or this biome, or just anything cool we come across, you know? God, I gotta say, I am loving the shaders right now. Look how beautiful this is. Besides the mall farm up there, it's just, ah, uh, gorgeous. But like I said, task at hand, I do want to get some squid ink, and it looks like we did. Perfect. All right, let's go back to our base, get some snoozing going on and start exploring. All right, before we go out exploring, I do want to mark down where we are located at, 105, negative 305. Uh, home is 105, negative 305. Oh, that's not a three, that's a four. Actually, hang on, I do remember we do need to get a boat so that way we don't have to worry about making one. And let's bring some planks, don't have to worry about, you know, chopping down any trees or whatnot. And then let's see, let's kind of go out from here and see where the ocean takes us. You know, I do have to say, I think it would be a worthwhile investment to get a looting and fire aspect on my sword here soon. Because it would be super useful for when we want to, like, go out, explore the lands. We don't have to worry about bringing a lot of food with us. Okay, I will say one downside with the shaders and texture pack is the fact that the ocean and the, uh, the skyline does not merge well. So it kind of just looks like I'm sailing into like an endless void here. Man, we have traveled a good few hundred blocks here and we have yet to see anything cool. This is, uh, oh, wait, hang on, we got some land. That was, <laughs> that was actually perfect timing, I'm not gonna lie. All right, perfect. We actually got a good little bit of islands right here. It's not just like one small island and it kind of like tricks you going like, oh, oh, is it gonna be bigger? No, it's actually just a tiny island. I will say not seeing anything too unique right now. Uh, I do see some mountains over here, though. And while we're at it, we might as well get some of these sugar canes. God, hang on. Hang on, do you guys see it? Can you envision it with me? We have a beautiful mountain castle right here in a village. Oh, hang on. This is gonna blow my previous house out of the water. Oh, yeah, I can definitely see it. We have a big castle right there. Lots of, like, houses and whatnot surrounding it. A big crop of farm right around here. More boats, just boats everywhere. We need a lot of boats. And what we can do is we can, like, play some windmills here and there, and it would look so beautiful, you know, just give it some life to it. Oh, and look at that, it's perfect. It's right next to a cherry blossom biome, and I really love cherry blossom trees. All right, we do need to mark this down. Negative 1250, about negative 200, we'll say. Uh, new base, question mark. Uh, negative 1250. Uh, negative 200. Now, I do want to take some of these saplings from these trees here, you know, grow some more at my original base right now. Now, I do know it will be a little difficult, but I do want to try to get, like, one sapling from each tree, at least, so that way I can, like, grow it back at home and have it on the man where it's like, hey, I want to do lighter colors, darker colors, that sort of stuff. Oh my god, look how beautiful that is. I might just move it more so over here, just so that way we have, like, a cool shrine right down there. Oh, I can see it. I'm seeing, like, a lot of ideas, and... I hope you guys can see it with me, because I would love to, like, walk with you guys on building this stuff. If you guys do have, like, suggestions on what I should build and stuff like that, I would love to hear it. I want to, like, improve my building skills, because it's not the greatest. I'm not saying I'm, like, really bad, but I do know I can always improve. You know, I realize I should have brought a bed with me. I uh, should probably look out for some sheeperonies. I see a lot of cows. I would definitely take the leather from you. Ooh, is that an acacia biome back there? Uh, hang on. Yeah, that's acacia. Perfect. And we got some sheeps. Let's go. Give me your wool, please. Now I need two more. And let me actually get some acacia trees here. All right, we got two saplings from the acacias, which is perfect. More than perfect, actually. Man, we are getting a lot of iron. I am loving this little mountain area. Makes it a lot easier being able to see it as well with the uh, shaders pack. Because I swear, I would be missing, like, majority of the, uh iron ore here i will say i do wish i had vein miner because i was so used to that when i played like modern minecraft and terraria just being able to mine everything at once oh it was so beautiful however that would be a bit too cheatsy in my opinion because we are trying to just have a nice clean classic hardcore survival world you know Ooh, we got a pillager tower and we got a skeleton shooting at me let me see how i can kind of dodge most of these attacks here all right we gotta go rush bombard rush Woo -doo 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 -doo. There we go. Oh, there's another one. Okay, we gotta be very careful now. I'm gonna try to slowly make my way down. Ow. 
He shot me straight in my forehead. All right, let me steal some wool here. I don't want to try to uh, try to deal with most of these creatures here. All right, the good old snoozing. And we should be able to loot this pillager tower. Let me actually take a screenshot of this because this would be a really cool screenshot. Not going to lie. So about right here. I think that looks pretty good. I may not be always photogenic, but I like to try it when I can. All right, let's see what's in here. Hello, villagers. How you doing? You guys having a grand old time trying to just make sure nobody comes in here. You raided any villagers lately? Alright, I think we're almost done with these guys. I think there may be one more upstairs or somewhere around. Ah, there you are. Let me kill you real quick. And there we go. Alright, let's see what's inside the beautiful chest. And we got... Eh, nothing really too useful. I'll take the carrots a little bit. I'll use this once and then just kind of leave the rest because I really don't really don't care about this stuff. Although I should probably make this a place of interest. There's the book. I was about to say, where to go? Because this would be a really good place to like make a farm or something like that. Uh, negative 1700, uh, 360. But yeah, like I was saying, it would be a really good place to make a mark of interest just so that way we can make a farm, be able to like do a lot of raids and whatnot if we want to in the future. If I do remember correctly, they did patch the method where you could, like, kill a zombie with a villager, recure him, and just do that back and forth, and being able to, like, lower the price each time permanently. I think they patched it to be, like, one-time thing, and then it goes away after a while. Now, I will be honest, I think the two biomes I am most excited to look for is, like, the mushroom biome and the, uh, what do you say, the snow biome. Because I love finding mushrooms, just stealing them and bringing them back home, and the mycelium and the biome itself is just perfect for like doing redstone builds and whatnot and then as far as like the snow biome goes i just love the idea of just being stuck in like a winter wasteland in a sense where you just have nothing really don't get me wrong sand biomes are cool but i feel like the snow biome makes it much more difficult you know water freezes you don't really get like a lot of crops with that as well so it's just like i don't know i miss those days of like older minecraft where you had a lot more like against you man look at this little like tunnel walkway with this river i love it i just love seeing like randomly generated things that just makes the world pop out a little more like that look at that that is so beautiful oh i love it like i just love the finer details in minecraft where you can just look at something and it looks so beautiful well 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 what do i see peeking out of the water here i think that might be a pirate ship that we should definitely explore all right let's see what loot is inside here hopefully something good uh, we got the treasure chest right here Ooh, one berry treasure uh let's get rid of the raw mutton don't really care about the other stuff at the moment and let's see what's over here and we got carrots and potatoes nothing nothing too useful i'll say so i'm not gonna focus too much on it well let's see we need to go that direction it looks like yeah a little bit this direction and a little bit that direction all right let's make sure we do this properly we have a little bit of the white beacon now and it should be right here and let's see, are we correct or did we mess up? I think we messed up. All right, there it is. I completely messed it. I was just a little off. Uh, let's see. Ooh, look at that TNT. Well, we got some gold, got some iron, some diamonds. Definitely need that. Uh, let's get a review. Definitely need this as well. And then what do we get rid of? We have a lot of good stuff. Let's get rid of some of the wood that we don't need. We don't really need to worry about that. Um, probably can get rid of the hoe. And then we got water breathing. I'm going to drink that real quick. Just use it up while we're uh, deciding what to take and not take. I think overall that's the main items I want to take. So let's head back home and try to clear out the ancient city. Well, 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 look at what I missed right here. I was just heading home, saw that. I was like, oh, that's definitely something we got to go loot right there. Ooh, I see a lovely blacksmith over there. But I got to make sure I don't miss anything up here in the other areas. I uh, don't really care about that stuff. I already have majority of it. But let's see what's in this blacksmith. I hope, I really hope we get more diamonds. Because I would love to just not have to go mining for it. And we got, ah, no diamonds. But we got some apples. That's pretty good. Now let's see, is there anything else of use? I didn't really see much as far as like unique houses goes. Ooh, we got one. Ooh, look at all that apples. We can definitely make some more golden apples once we get a, uh, get a mob farm going for that. Like a gold farm. And that looks to be everything about this village, but I do see out of the corner of my eye over here, a beautiful jungle kind of calling to me saying, hey, take some stuff, take some jungle logs, some saplings, cocoa beans. So I'm going to kind of listen to the voice in my head telling me to do that. All right, we got some cocoa beans. Now we just got to wait for some saplings to drop.
which hopefully should not be too much longer here. Aha, we got one sapling. Uh, ooh, we got a lot of stuff in my inventory here. Um, you know what? We're almost out of pork chops in general. Let's get rid of that, and we can focus on getting more in the future. And then, do we have melon seeds? Ooh, I don't even know if we have melon seeds. Hopefully we do, but I'm just gonna write this down, just so that way we don't forget it. Uh, where are we at? Uh, negative 1750, 840. And then I'll come back for some bamboo later, once we get, like, a more clear inventory. Well, I recognize that little beautiful structure anywhere. That's my mob farm and my little ship over there. And you know what that means. That means we have finally made it home. I am grateful to be back, clear out my inventory, straight to the ancient city, and we break everything. Alright, it's time to go and face our fears. I, uh, I always hate this part. I know you guys heard me say it a lot, but I hate really hate this because of the fact we're in hardcore mode and the warden is like the toughest boss to fight you know i'm gonna be honest if i end up like living through all this like clear out the whole entire ancient city and die to something stupid that's not like a warden or a uh, weather or the ender dragon i'm gonna be upset because of the fact that i did all that just to die to something stupid you know all right let's see if there's anything nearby i do see some sensors do you have some shriekers nearby not seeing anything. Alright, cool. I'm gonna place some torches as well. Just so that we don't lose our place here. Because if we can kind of like run through this one entire place knowing where we're going, that would be amazing. Alright, I do see a shrieker over there. I think I should be fine as long as I... Yeah, there we go. And then just slowly, very slowly, walk up to it. Oh wait, I think I just got God with some candles. Okay, never mind. I did not see a shrieker over here. Ooh, I see some diamonds right there. Uh, not seeing any more shriekers, so I'm gonna go for that. Ooh, give me a good amount of diamonds, please. I would love a good amount. We broke about, what, six right there? We got ten. Not bad, not bad. Not the greatest, not the worst. Yeah, I really hate the thought of these, uh, sensors nearby. I'm just gonna break them. I don't think I really have, like, any plans for them in the future. Ooh, look at that. We got some more diamonds. Gonna take some of that. Alright, that is definitely a shrieker. Uh, is there any sensors nearby? I gotta make sure there isn't any before I break it, because I see a second one back here. I think we should be good. No, nope, of course. I'm gonna break it. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, gotta quickly break. Okay, we're good. We're good? No one spawn? Okay, I'm not hearing anybody spawn. Okay, we're good. Whew. Of course, there's one more. Okay, so I think one more shriek, and we will have a warden on our hands, which I do not want. Uh, that's a shrieker up there. I'm gonna try to see if I can, like, parkour a little. No, not really seeing much ways I can do that. Man, I just know as soon as we get too close to it, it's just gonna, like, activate that one. But you know what? We gotta go for it. Gotta be very, very sneaky here. Can I break this? Is that on it? Looks to be. Oh, we did it. Oh, we are so lucky with that. All right, what do we got right here? Ball enchanting, some coal, echo shards. Nothing too useful. Haha. <laughs> Well, then I know what's going to happen here, so let's get prepared on running. Uh, we got a good little spot we can jump up from here. I'm going to kind of, like, clear it out just a little more. And then let's get our running shoes on. All right. Three, two, one, go. Break, 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 break. Start the running, a running, a running. Oh, wait. He's not spawning. Okay, we have one more attempt now, I think. Unless we have, like, 20 more. I don't know. Now, I do have to say, I do love the fact we get a lot of XP for this. Okay, we gotta be careful. Hopefully, there isn't any sensors nearby. C1. Hopefully, that's the only one. I'm gonna break it. Okay. Okay, we're good. We're good. Whew, that could have been bad. Now, let's see. What do we have here? Balls of enchanting, some glowberries... Normal stuff, normal stuff. Nothing too, too crazy. Ooh, we got some more diamonds. Gotta get that diamond. I love the diamond. Oh, we got 29. Beautiful. Oh, I love it. I have to say, it's still really crazy to me that we have, like, an ancient city right below our house. Ooh, looting too. Oh, we got other side. Oh, I love other side. That's one of my favorite music discs. But as I was saying, I am a little shocked that we do have an ancient city underneath our house. Got some more blue. Because, like, what are the chances, you know? I mean, I'm gonna be honest, I did have a world that I had on my 360 ported to the uh, Bedrock Edition, and it had the ancient city underneath the house that I built there. But I kind of chalked it up, you know, it was an older build and whatnot. <gasps> Ooh, ward armor trim. And we got some better hose. Perfect. But, like, I chalked it up to, you know, it was a previous world, and it kind of got, like, a little weirded out, because, you know, how old it was. 
Alright, yeah, I see a couple Shriekers. Ooh, that's a lot of Shriekers, not just a couple. Um, can we jump down without any... Okay, Ooh, I was worried there for a second. I'm gonna try to start from the back here, and then we'll go over there and just kind of loop around in a way. Alright, sensors, please do not go off. I just want to go and break this guy behind you. And we go forward this direction, break you, and we'll keep on going forward. <gasps> Ooh, he spawned right there. I am out of here. Okay, I think we should be pretty good as long as we stay, like, mainly back here. Alright, now it's time for you to be taken care of. Should be easy peasy. There we go. Hopefully there isn't another one nearby. I feel like there's gonna be a couple around the corner here, though. Alright, we got a little bit of lava here. Hopefully, uh, we don't need to cross that path right here. Alright, we seem to be pretty good. I think, overall, we got a majority of it. I'm just gonna kind of, like, run around then, try to see where we're at. So that way we can make sure we got it all. Because I think I remember this area over here. Yeah, I do remember this area. Alright, I'm feeling a little too confident at the moment, I will admit. But I do just want to make sure, you know, there's no more lurking around. So I am jumping around because I did get, like, majority of it. I know I got majority of it, at least. But doing this method allows us to kind of, like, pinpoint where he is exactly. If there is any more Shriekers. So that way we don't have to, like, worry about it in the future and accidentally trigger it when we're, like, not prepared whatsoever. Ooh, I see some gold. I want to take that first, though. I'm gonna go around and also break some of these sensors, because, like I said, I just, I'm tired of them. I'm so over this. You know, I think my plan here is once we do remove, like, pretty much all of the, uh, Shriekers, I do want to start, like, transforming this into more so, like, replacing the wool with some Dark Oak, because I think that would look really nice. It kind of has that feel to it, but I do want to, like, make it pop a little more, bring some grass and whatnot down here as well, some animals, crops, villagers, all the fun stuff. Because I will be honest, it is a little dull right now. Granted, I do understand that is the purpose of this structure. I do want to give just some more life to it, like I said. Aha, I see a Shrieker up here. I'm going to mainly sneak to it. Don't want to don't wanna trigger these guys. Just got to be real calm and quiet. And come on, there you go. Okay, we good? Perfect. Ooh, I see some more diamonds up there. Look at that. All right, let's see if there's anything up here. Just so that way we can kind of like... Finish off this saga of ours, trying to make sure we don't die. Looks to be all good for the most. Nope, we got one more. Where is it? I don't see it. Um. Okay, yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna book it. I'm not gonna deal with that. That's gonna be a headache to find. Yeah, yeah, you sniff me, man. You wanna try to shoot a uh, sonic beam or break my ankles? I don't know, something like that. Actually, he could probably be the one that will make it over here. Because usually they get, like, stuck and whatnot, but he could be the, uh, only one here. Yeah, I see him walking around there. Look at him. Look at him. Anyway, where's this Shrieker at? I don't see it around here. It might be on the other side. I just, I don't know, missed it for some reason. Alright, let's see if it's on this side. Oh, I see it. Yep. Yep, I definitely see it. It's right there. Okay, how are we supposed to do this? I guess we really got no choice besides kind of, like, breaking through the side here. Oh, of course, I summon it. You know what? We're just going for it. Go for it, go for it, go for it. Quickly break, quickly break. Oh god, he's right there. Oh, break it. I know we did it. We are running. Oh, no, 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 no. That was like the closest he's gotten to me besides like when we got stuck in that little tunnel of ours. All right, I think overall we did get everything. At least I hope. I really, really hope we did get everything. I'm gonna do one more like run around. He is still over there in the middle area. So I'm just going to kind of like run around on the outskirts here and then work my way in. All right. I recall about a fourth of the area here. We seem to be good so far. Nothing like trying to jump out of nowhere or like shriek or anything like that. All right. Let's make sure there's nothing back here. I don't think I really checked around this area. I can't remember. It's just it's starting to become a blur at this point. But it looks like we're good. Let me check this chest. Uh, yeah, I think we may have looted this chest. I don't know. Like I said, it's becoming a blur. I can't tell what I have and haven't explored here. But all right, I think overall we have it pretty much completed. I'm just doing one more sweep around. I'm gonna check the center area here now. And probably head back up because I don't want to stay down here for too much longer. All right, this is the main area I do want to check. Make sure we are good because there is that one shrieker. But it sounds like there's another one maybe? Now, so far, yep, I knew it. There is one more somewhere. Where are you? Where are you? I don't see you. I don't know where you're at. Um, probably heading around here. I'm just, I'm gonna run back. We'll worry about some other time. And I'm just, I'm gonna call it here for now. I'm pushing my luck way too much. 
Okay, so I am working on one more small project right here. I'm gonna add some lanterns to the uh, cobblestone walls just to give it a little more like protection from the mobs from spawning because I really don't want to be shot by skeletons or blown up by creepers when I walk up and down because that has happened a couple times. More so the skeletons, not so much creepers, but just want to make sure I'm well protected, you know? Now I am adding lanterns on top to give it more so a like medieval fantasy feeling like D&D because &D, I think that would look pretty cool in my opinion and it gives it like more personality, you know? All right, I think that looks pretty good so far. I will wait till nighttime just because, you know, I want to see how it actually looks with the light, not just like this daytime light going on right here. But overall, I think it looks pretty good. I will probably place a couple torches here and there, like more so the corners of these areas, just to get some more light and maybe go around a bit more with more proper torches or maybe later on work on like more lantern builds, you know? Okay, so I think overall this looks really good, especially at night. I did change the terrain a little bit here and there, as you can see with the uh, grass path right here. But overall, it just it looks so much more beautiful right now. I'm not going to lie. Now, sadly, it is about the time where I will have to end the episode. So if you guys did like the video, please like, comment, subscribe. If you have like any builds or any recommendations or just anything you want to just leave or message me with, please let me know. But yeah, without the way, this has been Luther20 signing off. Bye-bye.